Uh, as an obstetrician, I'm aware that uh, a twin pregnancy is a much more complicated pregnancy, both for the mother and for the babies. Uh, therefore, it was my purpose in doing this research uh, to determine what factors a woman could control in her environment, which would possibly decrease the likelihood that she would have uh, a twin pregnancy. Uh, in particular, I looked at the issue of diet, um, and I found that the women who don't drink milk are less likely uh, to have a twin pregnancy than those that do. It's not specifically the milk, it's the insulin-like growth factor, IGF, which is found in the milk, which seems to have that effect. No, it's not the problem of the uh, milk consumption itself. Uh, if at the time of uh, conception uh, the woman is consuming milk, uh, large amounts of milk, and she will have an additional amount of this insulin-like growth factor, and she is more likely to release two eggs instead of one for that pregnancy. So therefore, if this research continues to show the kinds of results it has so far, uh, it would be the recommendation for women to avoid milk or milk-like products just during the period of time in which she gets pregnant. Uh, Insulin-like growth factor has many roles in the body. Um, in particular, as it relates uh, to reproduction, what it does is it sensitizes the ovary to the hormones, the chemicals that are produced by the pituitary gland uh, just uh, underneath the brain. Uh, by sensitizing the uh, ovary, uh, she will have a chance of releasing more than one egg at a time. It turns out that the insulin-like growth factor produced by the cows is exactly the same as that produced by human beings. So therefore, if a woman starts out with a certain basic uh, level of uh, uh, IGF production based upon her own chemical makeup and her own genetic makeup, and then she adds to that the IGF which is she's going to acquire from her diet, then the level of the IGF is going to be much higher and the effects of having that higher level will be translated into a twin pregnancy in many cases. Um, on the one hand, we know that uh, subjects who are given fixed amounts of milk supplement will have increased levels of IGF uh, in their own blood. However, we don't know if that's the IGF that came from the milk or if there was something in the milk that stimulated their own bodies to produce additional IGF. Um, what uh, we do know is that uh, if a woman decreases her uh, milk consumption, then the end result is that her IGF level will not uh, rise as much as before. It is possible there's something in the milk which is stimulating her own production of that. There have been studies done in test animals where we know that the IGF in the milk can pass directly into the blood of the uh, consuming animal. Whether that's true or not remains to be determined in humans. Uh, what we have found is that the rate of increase of twinning is higher in the United States than it is in other countries. It is possible this is related to the use of growth hormone in the cows which makes their IGF level go up and therefore the amount of IGF in their milk be higher than say it would be in the uh, United Kingdom or other countries in Europe where the use of growth hormone is forbidden.